Hi everyone, this is your favorite high cheekbone sister Zorati and thank you for subscribing and sharing my videos. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe so you can be notified when I have new videos. A little over a year ago, I decided to develop communities with structure and a modern touch. The idea soon exceeded my initial vision. Fast forward as I was mobilizing like-minded Liberians and lovers of the African continent, I received an email from one of my consistent watchers. As I recently referenced, she's one of my biggest fans, she said, of course, thank you. She recommended a lady to me, a person who was actually really curious about community development efforts. So, I acknowledged the email and I spoke to the lady you will see in this video. Hello, uh, this is Chris and I'm here with this beautiful lady. She's uh, from America and her first time visiting Liberia. So, I'm going to ask her some few questions and things like that and hope you guys enjoy it. So, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm okay. Um, can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Natasha from okay. the uh, United States. Uh, which state are you from? Uh, Texas. Oh, Texas. Yes. Wow. All right. So, well, welcome to Liberia. Thank you. All right. So, tell me now, how's your, so far, how's your experience so far? It's been wonderful. The people are um, hospitable, um, very kind. Um, the country itself is very beautiful. Um, I'm very impressed. I'm in love with the country, and <laughs> that's why I have decided to uh, Invest in property and build. Uh, so, so, what made you to come to Liberia? Um, actually, it was through a co worker, um, Avita uh, Grove, to be exact. Um, she um, introduced me to Emma, and um, when I spoke to Emma, Emma convinced me, <laughs> very persuasive, um, in her delivery of her vision of building a community. Um, a thriving community and um, I wanted to be a part of it and so that's why I'm here. Oh, okay. So, um, so far, like, have you faced any challenges? In, like, have you faced any challenges so far? Like, uh, in a sense, like, in Texas, the difference between Texas and Liberia? Well, absolutely, stress. <laughs> so here, um, I am free. I don't know if there's any other way to describe it. It's just a free feeling. Um, Back in the States, unfortunately, we faced a lot of uh, stressful times, um, but definitely this is a place I would like to come and hopefully retire. All right. So what would you tell others in America, like ever Liberia? Well, don't be fearful. Um, Africa is a wonderful, wonderful continent um, to visit, particularly Liberia, <laughs> where you want to come to first. Um, but I, I strongly encourage um, my people, Black Americans, to come visit Liberia, um, they would be thoroughly impressed. So, um, have you tried any Liberian cuisine yet? Like any Liberian food? Well, I honestly have not yet, but tonight I will try the palava. Yeah. Um, the palava so, sauce. Or sauce, I'm sorry. Yeah. Palava sauce with the pound again. Oh. She understood the vision and asked all appropriate questions. She proceeded to express her interest in signing up for its development through land purchase. She paid for the road and now contributed towards the water project. As far as pay for the road, she contributed to the road development project. Several months later, she reached out to me about her trip to Liberia. I listened to her as she was telling me that a fellow Liberian discouraged her from visiting. But as you guys know, I am not in the business for negativity. So I explained to Tasha what she needed to make her trip successful as far as documentation and preparation. She booked her hotel and then set up, and then I set her up with a vehicle and other things in order to ensure her stay will go well. Let's hear from the horse's mouth. Okay, um, my next question, have you met other Americans since you've been here? Um, actually, I met one, uh, Miss Yvonne, and I'm actually about to have lunch with her soon. Um, she's from the state of Florida, and uh, we're getting to know each other, and um, we formed a bond really quick. Uh, okay, okay. So the, um, the palava sauce you said you had earlier, yes, was it good? It was very good. 
for? Have you tried other librarian cuisine or stuff? I have episode? not. Um, I must be honest that um, I dipped and dabbled into the American cuisines as well <laughs> here. Um, but I, uh, as I continue to come back to this beautiful country, I will try more dishes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Able to, but just to say that I've been to places that have arts and crafts. I've been downtown to what we call a trader's village back in the States, but there are multiple marketplaces in a localized area. Um, let's see, I've been to African restaurants, Liberian food, oh. tasted that, um, had palava sauce and fufu, had fried rice and chicken, so it was all pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's mm -hmm. good. That's yes. good. You say you've been downtown yes. um, to the market, so yes. are you talking about Waterside? Yes. Um, when you got to Waterside, did you um, purchase anything? Did you see yes, anything? Yes, I you? purchased um, material, um, African material to be exact, and a couple of dresses. And uh, let's see what else. Um, that's all I can recall for right now. Yes. So, what, like, what would you say about? the black african-american as in america and what would you tell them about liberia well i would tell them this is a great opportunity to step out of um, any fear that you may have or any misconceived notions that you have uh, been told about africa in general and just take a leap of faith and come out here and experience it for yourself of course i would have you to come to liberia um, to not only uh, see its beauty but to meet the people here and as i stated before they are very kind and hospitable and um, i promise you you won't regret it would you visit again absolutely i'll be here actually next year oh wow mm -hmm. okay and yes. thank you for your time no problem thank and you and have the rest of your time in liberia yes thank you Okay guys, considering you have watched this video, I want you to find something to take away. For me, I understand that sometimes in life you have to take the risk and forget the background noise. Tasha found beauty here and intends to invest in this country. When you wonder why other countries are inviting more people in to invest, think of what attracts those people. Find the positivity in find positivity in every scenario and try your best to attract people. Find one positive aspect about Liberia and inspire others to visit. And in essence, they will find their own beauty in Liberia. That's all I ask. Thanks for watching and remember to always share videos on this channel. We move.